getting a little bit warm. Right. Hello, Bracken Loads audience. Damn, damn YouTubers. Oh, yeah. that, that orange one orange. that's in, in the hedge line. It's just swinging now. Oh, that one, yeah. Sam from SRS Power. Damn. Buy my t shirt. Immediately. Right. Is that um is that the, is that a, a nipple patch you've got on there though, Sam, on your t-shirt? Uh, yeah, no, it's to prove it's no, it's to prove that I've paid my twenty-five pounds. <laughs> no one's actually checked that. I've probably just turned up and nobody would have known. But I think that's where, we, where we're aiming later when we do the running man challenge. <laughs> so, the red rabbit is your target. What are we shooting, Sam? Going for that red cat on the left-hand side. No, I mean what rifle? <laughs> <laughs> This is my Tika T3X uh, in T3 Winchester and I'm firing 100 grains of dodgy Eastern European ammo blank, <laughs> uh, which is quite heavy for a 243, it's really for deer, but it's cheap as chips compared to like everything else, so that's what we're going to go for. Blinking ammo. Yeah. It's up to half thousand feet per second though, so it's, it's still smoking. All right, let's see if I can hit this cat. Is it a cat? <laughs> Not a real cat, by the way. Metal gongs. Whereabouts? To so the, the left-hand target where the windsock is. Yeah. Yes. Yep. It's a good second of flight time, isn't it? I'm surprised. It's supposed to be going pretty fast, but... Sure. Get three in a row. Six inches under it. Exactly the same place as last time. Not weak. There's consistency. Does that hit it? No. 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 I did feel like I pulled it. I heard a noise. Must be someone else. I'm lucky. Oh. Let's load up. <laughs> this bloody bipod keeps sinking into the bale, which is annoying. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. Alright, I've got two mags left. That's a hit. Oh, I hit the green one then. <laughs> I'm going to pull it that much. I need that to cool a bit for the last three rounds, I think. Right. Oh shit, what's that about? Oh no, yeah. Uh, three rounds left. I feel like to see some time come back to six so, yeah. times instead. Yeah. So you can see this, you can have the grains. Impact then. Right, yeah. Skip so much. This is what destroyed that fox the other day. Excessive. They make a lot of noise though, does it? Sorry, dude, I just knocked you then. Okay. So, 1909, Mark 1, Lee Enfield. Gra uh, 174 grains of full metal jacket. Rimmed. 303 Brit. Good old British rifle. Yeah, with the ammo made in Serbia. <laughs> Put three in, yeah? I won't go mad. Yeah. Um, don't know yet, hang on. Same when I was doing going out before, the red one, next to the windsock. 
the wind top's going to become a cultural icon. Thank you, man. I'm doing a video just about that wind top. Oh. Safety off. Two foot below. Okay. Hit the ground right underneath it. Yeah. Used to my bolt. <laughs> okay. Didn't see where that landed. I have to like obscure it completely. Halfway between the ground and the bottom of the target. Okay, I need to aim a lot higher. Yeah, I, I don't think on, it's much higher. I think it's, I think it's probably only a sight picture. Uh -huh. I think you could easily be doing that just on the time you put the sight picture. You're sorry? <laughs> I think you could, the That's difference of just of how you're looking at the site, I think, is the, is the difference. It's so far away. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Aim really high. Yeah. I can't see it at all. I think that went through the hedge. That's too high. Yeah. <laughs> I think the difference between your first and second shot was so negligible, it's only positioning, I think, on the right. Well, at least it's consistent. I think you're going to have to fix bayonets, Sam. <laughs> it's weird, it's two-stage trigger. Yeah. Get in! Get in! Get in. All right. Sorry, so I'll have one more shot just to say if I can do that again. You should give up when you've hit one. Yeah. Oh, I've been in the trenches. <laughs> uh, hang on, I've lost it. I'm back on. You go. What you want anyway? What are you shooting at? The red one by the windsock. Couldn't even see where that went. Okay, I'll quit while I'm ahead ish. What are you going for, Tom? How do we measure that out? That's military surplus, is it? There, yeah, that's it. I'm going to strip my fingers apart. Okay. Am I aiming sort of dead on with this or what? Pretty much, yeah. If you're shooting the ones on the hill. Which one are you going for? Yeah, I'll go for the red one. Yeah, by the windsock, yeah, on the fray. Although it depends how you look at the iron sights, really. That was close. Yeah, that was hit. Is it hit? Yeah. I saw the round disintegrated. Unsighted. Good that. Hit one. Can you back it up, Steve? Uh, let it cool for a minute or two. Yeah. Or I can melt its way through the bag. Yeah, I was going to say. What we can with collecting all the brass and sticking it in this bag. All of it. Yeah. Oh, just low. underneath. Close though. A little bit higher. Not too much higher though. It's not. It's pretretty close. That was. The windage was right. Right, that's your. That bit of argy they've got them in the nuts. <laughs> Oh, just up the right of it. Your, your, your elevation was perfect, but it's very just a nudge to the to the right. That was. I think. It, I think that again will probably get it. Whoa! That suddenly went way low. Oh. 
just under. But it's got a force field around it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to have another one. Fuck another one in there. If it was a full size pack, you would have put them. That would have been a body shot, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. What a good day, eh? Yeah. Oh, just that was just literally just underneath it though. Was it? Yeah, it was far off. Go on, have one more. See if you can hit I'm it. I'm burning all your ammo, dude. It's alright, mate. My shoulder is that battered at the moment. I'm not sure I want to shoot it again today. <laughs> Weird trigger as well, isn't it? It's horrible trigger. It's like two stage, like an air rifle. Yeah. Could be it for about five minutes. Really? I missed it. I missed it. I think it needs to cool down. <laughs> yeah, I can barely see the sides. Oh wait, I've probably missed now. It's all about that as well. Well, the reason we're doing this this holiday, we've gone set this holiday, and we're doing the And the reason being is. I think I hit it. Probably somebody else shot just as it would have hit it. I don't hear the gong. You'll hear that metallic clang when you hit it. That's a hit. And we're dry. <laughs> nice ride. 80 rounds burnt through. <laughs> Probably barrel burnt through. Destroyed my barrel and my mod, I expect. Before I ended up with that as well. So, yeah. Really not designed for target shooting, but <laughs> never mind. Bit of mic, but that's recording it. Yeah? So the hardest thing is just the temptation to look down it. Once it's got the powder in, it could go off. So right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basically, pour the powder in. the way that's smoking but <laughs> <laughs> very loosely just the flat stone to hold it. Pull the hammer back. Right, so what you do now, you take aim, pull the front trigger till it clicks, give it a good firm pull, right. and that'll set the rear trigger, and then the rear trigger is then on a hair trigger, and it'll so, go off the moment you touch it. So pull that. Pull it till it clicks. Feel it click? Slightly, yeah, I think. Yep, so. I don't know what to aim at, what should I aim at? A uh, little gong in the front, and then the rear trigger will fire it. Now you've not set the set it, so pull it. It's got to be a firm click. You'll, you'll feel it suddenly click. Oh, you're right. That wasn't it hard enough. Okay. Oh. Blimey, that's cool. <laughs> that is seriously cool. Very cool. Wow, it goes with a bit of a pop, doesn't it? Yep. Wow. That is cool. That is seriously cool. It is. Right. Got another go now? Now you know what you're doing. I'll, I'll let this man have a go, because I bet he'll have a go. If that's okay with you. Yeah. No, that's cool. So keep it about 45 degrees and pour in the powder. Okay. Thank you. Film with one of yours. Right. It's all right, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, um, it's all right. Don't worry. Right, pull the hammer back all the way. 
Uh, the front trigger, you pull the front trigger back till it clicks, so keep it pointing at the target yep. from now on because it's live. Okay. So pull that till it gives a good firm click. Yeah. Now the rear trigger is now a hair trigger. Hmm, what shall I shoot? <laughs> Don't think I hit anything, but that is pretty amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. It's awesome. <coughs> it's lovely um, panels on it as well, plates, side plates. Wow, thank you. That's really good. I would have thought we're pretty safe here. This thing will make you smile though, so. I'm sure it will. Warning. <laughs> How many can you put in? I think it's 11. Too, too long, long rifle. I'd quite like to have a go okay. with that and shoot that. Practical. <laughs> it's cool. Honestly, it's so cool. Around the, around the woods. Yeah. You should just click in. Yeah. That's it. And then you just have to, you have to pump for it and then pump it back. That's it. You're hot. Okay. It's shooting a little bit high. What good do? I'm not very good with pistols, to be honest. Neither am I. <laughs> as long as it goes that way. That's well, quite <laughs> stiff. It's a double set, it's all loaded, so it's a double set trigger, so you pull the so first like, one back, yeah. get a really firm clip, yeah. and that sets the rear one, then when you touch the rear one it will go. Okay. Not a lot of you shoot that cluster of red ones off. over there, just, I should be able to lift it. Just, <laughs> just slightly below it, I think, with them. Oh, okay. Set it into the rear. Just pull the first trigger back until it clicks. Yep. You ready? Ah, that's an ace. It's cool. <laughs> you want to have a few more? Yeah, you can have yourself, they dude. Say. Oh, shit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can take it out or leave it in. I'll okay. turn to sort of. Get the trigger to go. This is amazing. Pull the first one back hard enough. Yeah, that's, that's the most fun you can cool. have. It's yeah, honestly, it is so cool. These rounds, I feel like they've covered them in KY. Hey, that... <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, though. laughs> Yeah, it's, it's that S and K ammo. Oh, uh, right. It's really weird, but even the yeah, brass. The trigger, yeah, like, but it's it? clean. It's ever so clean. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. You don't, I've, never had, I've never had one sort of get stuck in the barrel or anything. I need to take your action at the same time. Let's use a pump. You'll see the slot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can slam fire it as well to keep your finger on the trigger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? <laughs> that is quite good fun, though. Cool, isn't it? Slam firing is definitely the way forward. Have some more, mate. Oh, honestly. man, I'm going to rape all your ammo now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to definitely do that again. <laughs> oh, dude. He over, is raping all the ammo now. I'll oh, fill him up. Go on, then. Oh, slam firing. It's fucking it. amazing. <laughs> it's just not very accurate. I don't care. I don't even care whether I hit what I'm aiming at when it's doing that. That's just so yeah. much fun. You could do with a speed loader for it. Yeah, speed loaders don't work with these. We're a child. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason to have children. Wow. I'll tell you what. I'm ready for anything after handling these lube rounds. Um, <laughs> <these lube brands. laughs> <laughs> I think it's pointing at about that angle. Or oh, a bit. just the temptation to look down at. Oh, right, I guess not loaded yet. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That is like the most fun ever. <laughs> you know I'm going to do it again, don't you? <laughs> Just be gentle, she's nearly 60. Don't know how many times he said that in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stop doing it. Right, so I'll name now. 
two triggers. Yeah. First one cuts off, do the first one for you because they're real thin, it's really difficult, but it's not. So that's ready to rock and roll. Oh. It's a very light hair trigger now. It's too exciting. Go on, have some more, have some more. Oh, I'll have one more tube. Oh my god. You can't hit anything slam firing it though. No. You really can't. You've got no idea right. if you've hit it, have you? In fact, let's mix it up a bit. Everybody else can see, but the person firing it sees nothing. Put some stingers in. Yeah, I'll just put Thank one you. stinger in. And then I'll put how hard you tamp it. Yeah. A couple more. So if you tamp it too hard, that's why you listen. I always use it like that and never like that. 57 yeah. year old rifle. Off, that's right, I'll stick it on six stingers in it. That'll lose your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> I've no real use for these anyway, anyway so might as well sh you know, shoot them off. They're not that dangerous, to be honest. Okay. Your camera's rolling, are they? Yeah. Cool. Out right. Of okay, this will be a stinger. So I imagine it's shooting quite high. Luckily, I should be able to get their hot cases down. Excuse me, Ed. At least the normal the, uh, ones. Old map, please. First time yeah. Said that either. yeah. Cheers, mate. Bit of a difference, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work. That puts a smile on your face, it's isn't it? Ace, isn't it? It's, it's oh just got God. a sheer ace. Right. I'm going with my gun now. Let's just have a video of this. I don't know if this is going to work so I've mucked about with the trigger. What are you so. going to do, block them all off? Uh, let's see wait, if I can hit stuff first. I'm glad I'm here. Ah. What are you shooting at top? Yeah, it's not resetting the hammer properly. Did you shoot that spinner then? Might have. I'm shooting that little gong there. Let's try to get the floor on the hill. And you've got a stove pipe, dude. Uh. Now this was originally designed I think, in the 1950s and they discontinued them and now they brought them back and in every way this is a lovely lovely 2-2 the only drawback is it's got a crappy trigger okay but other than that <laughs> which is possibly the most important part but other than that it is awesome this is straightforward design you've yeah. got the lugs there so it's a really strong lock up because lock when that's forward that locks in and it locks in on the other side as well. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that. So, in like yeah. a bolt action where it's just lying on the lugs, if this is like fully locked in. Fully locked up, yeah. Um, and it's because it's a straight pull, you just pull it back, push it forward, push it back, push it forward. Right, yeah. But there's no rotation, it's just a straight, hence the term straight pull. Yeah, yeah. So, like that. Cool. Pop your mag in there, 10 shot rotary, flush okay. with the rifle, and then you just. Uh, <laughs> push him forward, and there you go. Yeah. Tang safety as well, which is always nice. Oh. oh, that is nice. It's very accurate. And it's the Wildcat model, it's nice. Quite left hand friendly as well. Yeah, well you haven't got to lift the bolt up, have you? That sounds like a double. 
I've better put this away really, haven't I? Ooh. Jammed as well. Yeah, that's gotta be. Oh, you're dead. That's cool. Get rid of that trigger. And it appears Neil has just poured ammo all over the table. Got a bit excited. <laughs> it's all Don't the worry, lube. It to all of us. It's all the lube. It's yeah, all the it's lube. The lube that's on this SK ammo. <laughs> It is overly wet, isn't it? I mean, it's too much, really, to be honest. Need some sand chucking in. I suppose it saves time, though, because you can go shooting and then you get home, you're all ready for your missus, aren't you, really? I mean, <laughs> it's just, just ready to go. <laughs> just excessive. I've never known anyone lube the brass before, nor just lube the, 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 the lead. Even Ely don't do that. Move them out of the way, shall we? Start slipping off then. Yeah. Set the nun to the vicar. Yeah. It's getting warm now. It is getting warm. That's it. That's mine, isn't it? Because uh, I know that's your safety because I've got my safety here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in principle, with a straight pull action, you should shoot it really fast. Okay. But um, it, you'll notice it's quite stiff. The advantages of being a lefty. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you, you might notice it feels almost like it needs wearing in. Yeah, it does actually. It's a bit notchy that last bit. Yeah. Is it a straight bolt? Yeah. It's um, T bolt. So it's, uh, yeah. 10 shot rotary. It's like a double helix, the magazine. That's cool. Like a figure of eight. So shoot some more if you want, mate. It's fine. Oh, go on then. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, mate. Just grab his gun. Um, yeah, it's nice. I was just saying, yeah, they, they, they brought them out in like the 1950s and they stopped them in the, like, the 1970s and then they just brought them back. But you can't buy a Browning with bolt action now in 2.2. That's all you can get is a T-bolt. Um, and it's great, but the trigger's a bit heavy. Yeah. Like three and a half pounds. Yeah. Agricultural. Yeah. But it shoots really well. It does shoot well. It's nice. How old's this rifle? What my what that is in front that I've owned. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my CZ out of the car. It's about three years, two, it, and yeah. two and a half years, three years. That scope's really nice on it as well. That's MTC Mamba. Yeah, it goes with it really well. If you look, um, the sort of second, no, the third crosshair down. That's bang on for 100 yards. Right. Um, and off a, a bipod, you can shoot quite accurately. I, mean, I reckon you could get certainly one and a half MOA at 100 yards with it. Right. For a 2.2 two two isn't bad, is it? Off, only off a bipod, though. Trying to shoot it off a bench, I was having, I was, yeah, more like three MOA. <laughs> Check it out, look. Modern and an old Browning. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, they're both Browning, yeah. 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 Yeah, absolutely. The only thing that's annoying is with that magazine, you can't put it in unless the bolt's open. Right. If the bolt's closed, it won't go in. It doesn't even matter if it's got two shots left in it, it still won't go in. Right. You have to open the bolt, got which it. is a bit annoying because it means you can't, you know, do 10 plus 1 or whatever. You can't do that. Right. But, you know, 10 shots plus, good enough, isn't it? It's good enough. For, for so if you're shooting right, rabbits, it? It's, it gives you the peace of mind of knowing you've got plenty of rounds. You don't need to sort of keep reloading it. Yeah, yeah. So you can have a go too, Andy, if you want. <laughs> Can't beat him. <laughs> Here's your back 